Hello Sagittarius, Rambling Mike here. Can play some tarot cards with you today, my friends. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Thanks for all your likes, all your subscribes. Thank you for all your donations. And thank you, my Sagittarius friends that have reached out to me for private readings. If you would like to uh, bless me with a donation or find out more about a private reading, all that information is down below in the description area. Thank you again, my friends. These readings will be for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2018. First half of the month right here. They will be about love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. Homework, family. Let's uh, use our intuition and see where we're at in this story right here. Or even if we are in this uh, story right here. Because we all know there's no possible way. This is going to be for every Saggy on the planet. So if it resonates with you, run with it. And if it don't, <laughs> have fun throwing it out. huh? Let's have fun here. On my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. Look at that, Saggy. Uh, Ace of Wands jumped out right there. Potential for some passionate new messages coming in here for you, huh? Passionate new beginnings, something you've wanted for a while. I like that for you, Saggy. My cross-watching friends. You're absolutely welcome here, and I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Sagittarius a lot, this can very well play out from your perspective. It is tarot. And these will generally play out from the perspective of who's ever looking at this video right here. All right, let's have some fun here. Let's go with this right here, Sag. You've been shuffling your cards for a while. Just tune in here. Hey, Terry, love team. Sagittarius is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most of their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see and help me speak what I need. Help Sagittarius see and hear what they need out of this reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Let's put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Sagittarius' highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you, my guides. I appreciate you. Here we go, Saggy cutting the deck. Sagittarius, first card out right here is Two of Wands. It's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's my crossroads card right here. Sagi may have a couple options that's lining up for him right now at this figure point in time. They definitely, you know, I mean, two of wands, uh, this is somebody. They've set their intentions about what they want to manifest. They're absolutely looking at this particular wand right over here with the world up on top of it, you know. Setting their intentions about what they want to manifest. Um, but there's a little wall right there, you know. Just hasn't been going the way that Saggy wanted it to be going. We know this story, huh, Saggy? Yeah. And there may be somebody else in your life, too, that you're hanging on to. Or it could very well be the other person, because I know many of my Sagittarius friends are playing with a fire sign right here. Let's see what crosses over top of this Two of Wands. It is the Emperor card right here. Uh, <laughs> it's Aries, seated in his power right here. It's sacred masculine energy. You know, it's the emperor. Mm, like I said, many of many of my Sagittarius friends have been playing with a fire sign. But, you know, whoever it is, they, they can be rather stern. You know, my way or the highway kind of people right here. You know, um, definitely uh, stability as well. Can't be somebody of some kind of means or something. That's very interesting right there. I want to see what's on the base right here. Ten of Cups at the base of the spread right here. You know. Once upon a time, there was Sagittarius and they lived happily ever after. I like this emperor on top of this right here. because Well, he's different than other emperors. This is a Terra Luminati deck. And uh, this emperor right here in Terra Luminati, he's well loved by all his kings and all his queens. They all love him. Because this guy, he's fair. He has integrity about himself. And he, him himself, he's looking at that world right there in his hand, you know. Has his armor on, been through the battle, but no longer in the battle. 
just chilling in his throne right there, you know. Could absolutely be Sagittarius being very stable in their life, you know, preparing for uh, what's coming in here for them. It's very interesting right here. I could see it playing out for both Sagittarius and their friend, possibly. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the spread definitely talks about, you know, somebody feels that this is the one. Yeah, somebody feels that this is the one right here, you know. The Happy Ever After card right here. In the recent past, we have the Five of Wands right here. That's my tussle card. More fire energy right here. You know. There may have been some kind of problem in the past, uh, a little arguing, fighting. There still may be competition. Like I said, this person right here, you know, this emperor right here. They may have other options that they're not willing to let go of, you know, stifling this old Ten of Cups right here, you know. Could very well be that this Ten of Cups has just been quiet for a while, you know. It's five of Wands definitely talks about the tussle. It also talks about competition right here. You know, the, the Emperor, you know. Well, let's see where this goes right here. The <clears throat> Knight of Wands showing up here on the top of the spread for Sagittarius right here. You know, that's that. Young, fiery energy, huh? Have a tendency to come rushing in and rushing back out, huh, Sagittarius? Yeah. <laughs> You've got this whole Ten of Cups things upside down for you, right? You know, they're fun. I love these people. They're absolutely fun. Um, but they're very noncommittal, huh? Yeah. You know, uh, Sagittarius definitely wants some stability in their world. You know, with Ten of Cups and the Emperor right here, you know. They're tired of this old uh, in, land of indecision that I see right here with their friend right up here, oh, Sagittarius. Um, you know, in Five of Wands, it can also talk about lack of communication at this particular point in time as well, you know. Maybe there's no contact between you two right here. But I'm looking at this right here. I mean, this this character right here, he definitely has his eye on that uh, one wand right over there. <laughs> it's your read. They've got to be feeling you, Saggy. You know, I mean, it's the emperor right here. You know. Hangman right here. It's feeling stuck like Chuck. Stuck like Chuck with that old emperor right there, that sacred masculine energy. Stuck like Chuck, uh, many times we set ourselves in that old tree right there, trying to obtain something sacrificially. Hangman's not tormented in any way, shape, or form because it's hung by his foot, not by his neck. This card is all about getting a new perspective about what's going on around you. Magician card showing up for you right here and how you would see yourself. This is the manifester right here. This is um, Aries. I see Aries right here. Many of my Sagis are dealing with an Aries right here. Aries. This is also Gemini, Virgo. It's Mercury. You know, it's uh, it's the manifester right here. Definitely looks like Sagittarius has no other uh, thought going through their head than manifestation of Ten of Cups. You know. Uh, with their friend right here. They, they find very exciting and very fun, yet very non-committal, leaving Saji in this hangman's position right here. But somebody's manifesting something here. You know, this card's always about as above, so below, you know. This is the alchemist right here. You know, this is the one that turns lead into gold. Let's see what's happening here, huh? Ace of Cups covers the spread right here, see? There's love here. Oh, there's love here. <laughs> uh, Ace of Cups talks about a direct connect with the divine. That's a good place to be when you're in Hangman right there. I mean, he's all illuminated. Let's look at things in a new light here. 
Ace of Cups also talks about loving on yourself, healing yourself, pouring that agape love into you, you know. Um, that may be what brought this person back in. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups talks about love and all the possibilities thereof. And Ace of Cups also talks about unspoken love. Uh, <laughs> many of my Saggy friends, uh, this friend of yours, they may not have told you how they really, they, they love you. This is love. This is love. But you right here, you know, fearful, you know, of the juggler. You know that they're a juggler. You know they're a juggler. That's Earth energy right there too. Capricorn, Taurus, uh, Virgo. Uh -huh. This can be the charming trickster here, you know. But, I mean, there's love. This is love showing up right here. And ten of, ten of cups at the base of the spread, you know. It's pretty... Pretty divine love. It's just like Saggy, just not gonna <laughs> let it go. It's really what I see right here. Don't let them hurt you. And there it is right there, Sagittarius. Is um, the Fool card coming out here. Definitely gonna be taking a leap of faith. If they haven't been in your life for a while, they're gonna show back up, Saggy. And looks to me like Saggy is. We go into the second half of... December right here is absolutely going to be taking a leap of faith with them right here. This is, uh, it's a fool card. It's a major arcana. It's Uranus, you know, the planet of sudden change. Uh, this is Aries. It's also Aquarius. May mean something to you, may not, you know. Five of Pentacles, like I said right here. Um, you know, feeling left out in the cold, huh, Saggy? From your friend right there. You know who they are. They've been playing with Saggy for a while right here. Or not playing with them. Leaving Saggy and Hangman's right there. But there's love. Something's happened right here. Because this not only shows one person feeling left out in the cold. But this card definitely shows me two people feeling left out in the cold. You know, if it's if it's a divine relationship and they're not playing right with you. don't Don't believe that they don't feel that on the inside of them. Don't believe they don't miss you. Oh, they do. Five of Pentacles left out in the cold right here. Here it comes right here. Is that fire energy? Six of Wands right here. It's called the Triumphant Return of the Sun King. You know, it shows that young prince up on top of his horse right there. Coming into town after the battle. After the battle right here. Getting a victory. All his posse around him. Yeah, Saggy. You did it, you did it, you did it. You know, it can also talk about that your friend comes around because, well, you give them amazing attention. They love the attention that you give them. There's definitely love here with Ace of Cups on both sides. Moon card down underneath that. Moon card always talks about the cycles of the moon. Definitely got a full moon. Um... At the end of December right here. And we're definitely going through that full moon cycle of Gemini from uh, last month. Uh, you know, Gemini's the twins right here. Definitely some kind of uh, divine relationship it's involving sacred masculine energy, in my opinion. Uh, they've been a player. They definitely love you. They're definitely, uh, you, you're not going to back off of this. You're continuing to manifest it in the spirit realm or whatever it is. And here, here you go. You're going to take a leap of faith right here. Possibly, you know, after this full moon right here that's coming up. End of the month type situation right here. Because this is in the future with me right here. Yeah. Uh, I like it for you. Um, it does talk about smoke and mirrors and all that, but I'm not telling Saggy anything they don't already know about with this particular person. This isn't for everybody, but it's definitely for somebody. Your friend's coming in for you right here. Three of Cups right here. You know, that's about reunion, bells ringing. You know, happy, happy, joy, joy right there. But once again, it is a three right here, and we do got them showing up right there. You know what I'm saying? And, then, and you fearing that right there, that they're still playing with somebody. But, you know, outcome right here is Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles wanted to show up right here. Ten of Cups at the base of the spread. How oh, Saggy. Many of my Saggy's have been working at this for a while, you know. I love it right here. Two being left out in the cold. 
the victorious return of the Sun King, possibly around this full moon or during this cycle of the Gemini full moon right here. You know, be cautious, smoke and mirrors, you know, let's not go rushing in here. You know, let's let's meet them where they're at. How huh, Saggy? Three of Cups reunion right here, leading to Ten of Pentacles right here. The happy ever after. The little white picket fence. The big pink house, babies running in the yard, you know, the loving couple, money, you know, falling from the sky right here. It's a beautiful story about Sagittarius taking a leap of faith, being very patient and working on something for a while right here. But uh, this is all about divine timing. I see divine timing opening up for many of my Sagittarius friends right here, you know. But let's meet them where they're at, Saggy. Let's not get caught in that hangman's tree no more with this person right here. Huh? Yeah. It's manifested the way that we want it, right here, right here. This is what we want. Ten of Cups right here, Ten of Pentacles right here. Let's meet them where they're at. Hmm? Meet them where they're at. They're probably coming back because, you know, I don't know, many of you may have just said, well, I'm not going to play this game no more back here. But you, many of you may have walked away, you know, feeling Jesus was that the right idea with uh, Hangman right there. They're coming back. You know they are. Let's, uh, Romance Angels, let's throw out some uh, love cards on top of this for Sagittarius, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, engagement right here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I see that right up here, you know. If, if they've been feeling left out in the cold by you, Saggy, it's working. It's working, all right? It's working. Doing that soul work on the inside of them. They definitely miss you if you're not hanging around them or they're not hanging around you. Let go of control issues, same one right there, huh, Saggy? Let this situation unfold supernaturally right here. Like I said, let's meet them where they're at. Love it for you. Honeymoon right there, look at that. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Very soon wants to show up right here as well. Clearly decide what you want, Sagittarius, so that it comes to you now. Like I said at the beginning of this, some of my Sagittarius friends may have more than one option. Hmm. May have more than one option right here. This option right here is the one that this divine one may have religious factors connected with it right there. Extreme age differences, cultural differences, racial differences, uh, sexual differences, spiritual differences, religious differences, you know, all those social taboos that uh, love has on them. Uh, that's what we're bringing down right here. All of that right there. And Saggy, uh, you know, the last one I want to put out right here is it's safe for you to love. You know, keep your heart chakra open for us, Sagittarius. Let all that agape love in, let all that agape love out right here. It's very nice. Uh, engagement, an upgrade in a relationship, let go of control issues. I love the honeymoon. Maybe you two are going to take a little trip with each other. That could be what the fool card's about, you know, taking a little trip. Could be what uh, my Knight of Wands is about, you know, a little adventure right here. When, very soon, you clearly decide what you want because there could be some kind of religious factors involved that, you know, all the social taboos. But it is safe for you to love right here. I see them. They, they're coming out of this juggler energy. It's nice, Saji. It's nice. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. All right. Tell love team. Let's pull out a uh, major for Sagittarius, please. Look at that. This is uh, your card right here as far as I'm concerned, Sagittarius. It's the Wheel of Fortune. This is Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good luck. Your planet that recently went into your first house right here. You know, if this has been going around and around in a karmic cycle for a while, sure looks like the div divine really wants to get involved in this relationship, my friend. You know exactly who I'm talking about right here. Yeah, this is the wheel of fortune spinning in an upward direction. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in here from my Sagittarius friends right here. This card absolutely has to do with Sagittarius. Absolutely has to do with Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Bottom of the deck right here is the Sagittarius card right here. Really, really happy for you. Hmm? It's um, Temperance. Talks about you being patient. You've been very patient with this, you know. Shows Michael the Archangel doing alchemy right there. You know, the blending of the sacred masculine, blending of the sacred feminine. Talks about the potential of all the cooperative components coming together for you here. Sitting right there by that wheel of fortune. I absolutely love it. This looks to me like it's a divine relationship. 
that um, has been coming together. That is Sagittarius as well right there. At bottom of the deck right here is the strength card, Leo. Fire all over this spread right here. Majors that I have on the board right here, and this is strength from the universe right here. And it can be about the approach, too, if there's been separation here, or them concerned about the approach with you. Um, you know, if you want this person to come in, tell them telepathically. I'm open to you, or text them, whatever. Strength from the universe right here, you know. This is uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Gemini, uh, Virgo, and Aries, Pisces, quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit right here. I see it. You know who I'm talking about right here. It's a nice spread, Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune. Get ready. It's going to be a really good year for you because <laughs> you've been patient and you know what you want right here and your strength in the universe sure looks like it's coming in. Happy for you, Saggy. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye for now.